Alright everyone, here's a couple of super buttons that I've mapped and I'll show you what's mapped to them. You can figure out the mapping from other videos or how to do it rather. Um, I'm using one button for all of this and it's uh, we're going to affect, it's in chained effects and for effect one we want it to select uh, delay. For effect two we want it to select the phaser. Effect three, the flanger. Um, dry wet you can put the taste. I've got it at 0.4 at this uh, for right now. Uh, the uh, amount of the effect one, which I believe was delay, I've got at 0.5. The amount of uh, effect two and three, I've got set at zero. Uh, and uh, we also want to turn the effect on in one, two, and three. Okay. Now. What this does is with one punch of the button it'll load. With your second punch of the button it'll actually activate the uh, effect. And I'll show you what that does here in just a moment. Alright? Hold on. Alright. Now if we uh, clear out the setting you'll notice uh, my effects aren't on what I want. But when you push your button that you've got this map to it'll load the effects that we have. And with the amounts that we want. And the second time you press is when it will actually go off. Now the uh, effect itself with the uh, phaser and flanger set all the way to the left or at zero. This will give you the long um, 64 count of the effect going off and it goes from low to high. It will start low and go high. Now once you let go of the button it's just going to remember the spot that it's at so if you don't release it at the right time then you may start in the middle of that count or something like that um, that's where you'll need to have an LFO reset button if you don't already have one you can also use this rhythmically and if you'll watch while I'm playing this the uh, LFO reset will pop on and off as I'm making it start now since the phaser and the flanger are two effects that start low in pitch and kind of go higher um, it'll oh, when you hit the LFO reset it always starts them back at the bottom of their their pitch. So we'll get the tune playing and I'll use the effect for you. Hang on. Okay, and if you'll notice that started low, went high, went for 64 counts, and you can use the LFO kind of rhythmically to actually play it a little bit. Now, if you want this to increase quicker, when you map it on your phaser, instead of being 0, 0.00, you can start with 0.1 on each one. Always do the same for both, so they raise the same amount. Um, now, what I've also done is I've mapped another button that starts with the two effects that start high in pitch and go lower, and that would be the filter uh, LFO and the filter 92 LFO and here I added a little bit of T3 reverb on to them now that sounds like and we, I've also got these set as you will notice I've got them set higher so they're actually going to um, change pitch in a quicker amount of time than uh, the other setting now if I want to make them go slow 64 counts I can just map them to 0, 0.0 these are a little bit louder, that's why you see the dry wet's a little bit lower, but of course you map in whatever you prefer. And let's see, that's oh, this button. Here we go.
dry wet so you could hear the effect just a little bit more. Um, so either one of these are fun to play with. While the song's going on, you can build it up a little bit more, or you can use it rhythmically um, just to add a little something to the tune. All right, hope you enjoyed.